All right, third room with a huge bed. Mackenzie over there checking if there's Wi-Fi. <laughs> we finally get a closet. First world problem. And a full length mirror. Hello. We have two huge windows, but it's dark outside because we've been driving for uh, 11 and a half hours. Too yeah, long. too long. This is the bathroom, no mirror above the sink, but that's all right. And then look, check this shit out. We have a bathtub with a seat in it, which means we can shave sitting down. And a shower head that's actually held up, which is lit. Like he doesn't have a room number, so we just Toilet. Have to that this is our room. All right, no room number on the key, so what room is this? Yeah. Room eight. Yeah. What's this? Oh, this could be a good view in the morning. Let's see if the window's open. No, that's me. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, don't step on that. <laughs> All right. Looks like we got a great room, everyone. Ironing board in case anyone's clothes are wrinkled. Yeah, it's right under the TV. Dude, I know it's nice, right? Our bed actually has white sheets. <laughs> white linens. Crisp. That's all for now, folks. first day in Nabdam, which is the village we're working in, in Nangodi, which is about an hour away from Bulgatanga, which is where we're staying in our hotel. We did a homestay in the morning and we got paired up with some of the women in the village. We just walked around and they showed us their market, they showed us all of their shade trees, we saw so many animals, they showed us all of their houses and their compounds and where they live. Um, they currently are in mud and grass huts, and then their markets are made out of sticks, grass roofs, and then all the kids were just following us around the whole time. mine 
uh, which is really, really cool. We didn't see any gold, but it was awesome. We walked around for about three hours. They just showed us their, the entire town of where see? they lived. How's that Pringle, huh? She's a hot mess. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like a very intense dance. Alright, Nina. Okay. Would you like to go try? Yeah, Nina. Come on, Nina. Oh, yeah, yeah Nina. <laughs> And then when do you do the art? <laughs> 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 and then in the afternoon we had the option to start our projects. But I didn't realize that we'd be starting on a Friday. And mine involves working with the school and the school children. Um, and they don't have school until Monday. So I'm gonna have to kind of rework what I'm doing, figure out how I'm gonna change it in a way, how I'm going to find the girls that I'm gonna work with. I talked to the school teacher in the afternoon of girls that age from 10 to 12, and she said she has 18 girls in her class, which is perfect because I brought enough supplies for 25, which means I can give some extras away when we're done here. So I think I'm gonna work with her class she has class from 8.30 to 1.30 on weekdays. I brought construction paper, pencils, markers, scissors, tape. We can do arts and crafts. So my biggest hurdle to jump over right now is figuring out how to get a group of girls together and whether I do that tomorrow or I do that on Monday. Day two was a little bit of a curveball for everyone, but for me especially. Again, it is the weekend, so they didn't have any school. I really struggled with figuring out how to split up the boys and the girls. Um, ended up going under a tree with a group of about 20 girls, and the boys kind of sat on the outskirts and watched what we were doing because they weren't comfortable with me taking the girls from them and them not being included. 
So I sat them down under the tree and I asked them their names and you know where they lived, how big their family was, got to know them. Um, and then I asked them, you know, what do you want to do when you grow up? What are your dreams, your goals? Do you want to be a, a lot of them said nurse, doctor, I want to be a teacher. One girl said she wanted to be a bank teller. So it made me realize they do think about these things. And maybe those were the only careers they'd ever been exposed to. Nurses, doctors, the people who can give you money at the bank. You know, I don't know. But that's what they told me. But there is the general consensus that girls are allowed to do a little bit less than all of the boys. Um, they're definitely expected to clean and cook and take care of their younger siblings. Uh, Antoinette brought over a book. I read the book to them. I gave them the opportunity to read it. A few of the girls were reading really well. They're Sweet. really good at English, which is surprising and awesome. So then finally all the boys came out with their soccer ball. And again, we're playing soccer without the girls. The girls were playing patty cake and hand games and talking about the little baby, letting us hold the babies, taking more pictures. It's, a, it's probably into my purse. Oh my God. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna get the size of this bug. I can't. I can't right now. It's huge. I just can't. You it's have fine. to squish it. It's fine. That's not gonna squish it. Okay. You have I'll to really it. put your body it. weight on it. It jumped. It jumped over there. Okay. I can kill it if it's on something else. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, I'm going in the bathroom. To finish this up. <laughs> so tomorrow we have church in the morning. We're gonna go to Pastor Yen's mass from nine to 11 or nine to 12. And then we have a half day of work. A half day, 12 to four I can work with. Three to four hours, you know, we can do that. We'll see what happens tomorrow.